Well, spring break is right around the corner, and if you are looking for a fun day out for the kids and just a short drive from Louisville, the Newport Aquarium is the place for you. They have a brand new exhibit there that features hundreds of baby animals uh, and a new habitat that kind of takes you inside where they are. Take a look. The new Hatchling Harbor is taking guests at the Newport Aquarium well beyond the glass and letting them really enjoy this immersive ecosystem. I'm with Matt Duda, the spokesperson for Newport Aquarium. I mean, first of all, Matt, I'm very like in awe of just the, the size of it. It's just, it's a huge, it's, it's a huge exhibit. Yeah. So at over 25 feet long, this is one of the longest tanks that we've got in the aquarium. So what that's allowed us to do is set up these actually three different kind of sub ecosystems. There are so many different stories being told in there with hundreds of different animals and dozens of species. All right, we're going to take a closer look right now. So where would this ecosystem be found? Typically? So this, the fun of Hatchling Harbor with these three different areas, you kind of start off here. You want to meet the pier right now. Okay. The fun of all this theming here is that you feel like you're actually underwater looking up at the pier from the fisheye view. Yes. Kind of give, makes you feel like you're in that, uh, that ecosystem along with the animals. Right. And our hope is, of course, that it brings you closer to them, like cool. you've been there. So right here we've got the sandy, um, sandy flats that you'd find right off the shore underneath the pier. This is the open area, so the, the animals have more room to swim. But then as you head further out, you start getting into this beautiful area. These grasses here, this is actually an underwater meadow. Um, in here, this provides a lot of safety for baby animals. It's one of the most fun things about Hatchling Harbor is this is filled with baby and young animals. They love the safety of the seagrasses where they can nestle up in there, be safe from predators, but also find a lot of the food that they need. Um, but beautiful area. One of the things that's real interesting about these seagrasses is they actually capture carbon from the atmosphere. 35 times faster than the rainforest. So when we talk about abating climate change and all that, we can actually right have here. more impact with the seagrasses than we can with rainforests. What I love about this, that you know, with all your exhibits, you learn something. Here, you're learning so much, right? There's just multiple layers. You can just kind of enjoy all the beautiful fish, fish and the species, but then it, there's so many layers, if you will, and there are layers here, but there's layers to what you can learn. Absolutely. And that's the point, right? It really is. Yeah, this is one of those great um, exhibits where the more time you spend, mm -hmm. the more time you linger, the more you're going to see. There's hundreds of animals in here, dozens of species, and you'll see the big ones swimming around. We'll see our big friend up here. Where's um, our hero? The scrawled file fish. The he is absolutely spectacular. Yeah. Um, he's the largest inhabitant of Hatchling Harbor. He's got these beautiful, colorful maze-like patterns that color change on him, and that's his way of camouflaging against the open water behind him. But he's also real interesting because he's got a personality. He's one of those fish that you're just like, this little guy's thinking something. Yeah. So beyond uh, the grass, when we get back up here, this is the, the coral area. Mm -hmm. And so what kind of typically happens out there? Because there's so much activity there. So I'm thinking, what is going on over there that yes. everybody wants to be over there? Yeah, so the coral outcrop that we see at the end here, this is more of that rocky kind of area where a lot of fish would live. Everybody's familiar with coral reefs. Yeah. But the fun of it is, a lot of them would actually lay their eggs within the seagrasses here. Okay. Um, so it provides that extra safety, then these animals that are growing up in the seagrasses will ultimately go back out to the reef or even beyond into the open ocean where they live out their lives. So you can see a lot of the older fish um, are hovering around the rocks yeah. down here. But Hiding in there too, area. right? Yeah. You know, and so what I love too is that the guests can, can see these little babies. We see lots of little babies in here and they can follow along if you visit the aquarium multiple times. You can see them growing. It, it's a wonderful way to kind of uh, follow this exhibit along, really. It, it, and that's the point so too, yeah. yeah. It makes it so fun. Um, we do have new membership options, so you can get your silver, gold, or platinum membership and come back again and again to enjoy all these different different exhibits. But one of the fun things about this is all those little babies that you see this time, yep. next time you come back, they'll be a little bit different. They'll have changed. Um, fish are really interesting in how they grow up. They change in size, just like we do, but they also change in color. They change in shape. They change their markings. So it's fascinating how it's almost like a completely new animal, but you'll remember that last one from the last episode. Do you have a favorite? I do. Okay. I, do. I love that scrawled file fish. It's so <laughs> yeah. fascinating. Yeah. But, you know, some of the smaller ones are really, really neat. Like you can see the parrotfish that are, um, you'll see.
see hovering around some of the rocks down here. They actually peck and chew on the algae on corals and rocks. And when they do this, they're crunching that up, they're digesting it, mm -hmm. and what comes out the other end is sand. sand. <laughs> so they estimate that about 70% of the sand, that beautiful oh white sandy gosh. beaches in the Caribbean, actually comes from these little parrotfish. They're pooping out the sand. I bet the field trips here love that, they that do. little fact, the right? Love it, yeah. I love the little puffer fishes. You can see them scooting around here. They're they're absolutely adorable. And uh, for folks in you know in the Louisville area, southern Indiana, you save by going online and getting your tickets ahead of time, right? I definitely recommend that people go online and purchase their tickets at newportaquarium.com. Okay. The good of that is we limit our capacity to make sure we have a great guest experience for everybody, mm -hmm. but that means you're not going to want to show up and not have yeah. your tickets all set up. But you can also save. Um, we do dynamic pricing, so the earlier you get your tickets, the more you're going to save. Love it. Matt, thank you so much for showing us around. Thanks for being here. So much to see here. To get your tickets, go to newportaquarium.com.